this is going to be another vlog for today. Just leaving Dollar Tree right now. And actually, you can see right there, Dollar Tree everything for a dollar. And I actually just picked up a few more goodies, including this uh, selfie stick that I'm using right now. When I get in the car, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it seems to be pretty good. It's designed to hold pretty much any size cell phone. And uh, it's got one of those clamps, those spring-loaded clamps. And uh, yeah, I'm actually shocked they had these for a dollar. I've paid upwards of $10 for these, especially when they first came out. Now I just got to find out where I parked. <laughs> As you can see, it is gorgeous out today. I mean, look at that sky. There's like maybe one or two high, thin clouds, but that is about it. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is um, this is fairly close to my house, but uh, this is where we go to eat sometimes. You can see in the back there. Uh, I don't know if I can get it on camera. It's the Buffet City. That place is awesome. Like, I need more buffets, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um about to get in the car and i'll show you guys what this thing looks like so i'll talk to you in just right, a guys. minute here is that uh selfie stick that i picked up at the dollar store today it's actually pretty decent quality it's got a really nice uh, rubberized grip on it um you can see it has a metal flex hinge there so you can pretty much bend that i would say that's a good 45 degree maybe 60 degree angle and it has a little bit of a uh, this is actually for your cell phone. It's a spring loaded, so you can actually stick your cell phone on here. And it, I've used it all day today, and it seems to be a decent quality little device. I mean, for a dollar, I couldn't believe it. The only complaint that I have, and it's not really that bad, is is that's about as far as it extends. I might be able to get it out a little further. There we go. Extends about that far, which I'm guessing is maybe a foot and a half. And uh, yeah, that this is actually what you saw me use today to uh, film the vlog. So, you know, for a dollar, I would definitely uh, check out your local Dollar Tree and pick maybe a, two or three of them up for oh, sure. So as you probably can tell, I am not in my car. I had to take my dad's car day because he had a client uh, come. And she was blocking mom's car. And, of course, I needed to have the handicapped uh, sticker because mom's actually at a uh, nail appointment right now. She's finally getting her nails done after about a month. And if you know her, if you know anything about my mom, she has got to be, her nails have to be pristine because she has the, the problem where the nails get brittle. So she actually has them put um, fake nails on top of her real ones. And it actually helps harden the, uh, harden the nail. So she's doing well. Uh, she was a little out of it this morning. I think she took one more pill than she was supposed to. <laughs> it happens, but she's doing okay. I'm going to show you guys a few other things I got. If you got, hopefully you guys saw my uh, Dollar Tree pickups video from the other day already. So you'll know that the Dollar Tree here has been getting some of these iPad cases. Well, I came back to see what they had and they put a few more out. This one is the Griffin IntelliCase. If you can see it right there, it's kind of got like this uh, neoprene front on it. And it actually feels pretty cool. It's um, it definitely feels nice and sturdy. And then the back of this, I'm not going to take it out now because it's a little to be a little hard to open. But the back of this, you can see, is kind of that hard plastic to keep the the camera area protected. And as and the one thing I really like about this compared to the ones I got yesterday, this is the IntelliCase. In other words, this can actually wake and sleep the iPad up. So. That's definitely a bonus. You can see it has the hinges right on the edges there. And if you look in the back, you can see that it folds two ways. It can fold down, um, and you can use it kind of like a desktop, and then you could actually fold it up for where you're, so you can watch movies on it, basically. So I got this one with that kind of, uh, I don't know what you call that, a uh, <laughs> like a heart rate monitor pattern. And then I picked up... This one, which has kind of got like a uh, camouflage pattern, which I thought was pretty cool. Same thing, a, a Griffin IntelliCase, and it also has the same options to wake and sleep up the uh, wake and sleep the tablet. <laughs> wake and sleep up. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. <laughs> and I just picked up a few more of these uh, batteries. I tell you, these are invaluable. I got these are those uh, Sunbeam Lithium batteries. You get two for a dollar. The CR2032s, absolutely invaluable. And 
Um, I don't remember who it was, but somebody made a comment on my on one of my videos. Actually, it was the Dollar Tree pickup video from the other day that he found Energizer versions of those on eBay um, that were even cheaper. I think they were ten for like uh, four or five dollars. I'm going to tell you right now, guys, don't ever buy batteries on eBay. They may say they're Energizer batteries. They may even look like they're Energizer batteries, but I guarantee you they are cheap Chinese knockoff batteries. And the reason I know that is I've been burned more than once um, buying batteries on eBay. Uh, just don't do it, guys. And think, if you think about it this way, too, when you're buying batteries online, you have no idea how long those things have been sitting. They're generally coming from China. They could have been made 10 years ago, for all you know, and uh, even if you're buying them from the States, they're usually getting them from China, because to be able to sell them that cheaply, they cannot have them made here. They just There's just no way, so avoid buying batteries at all costs when you're online. Well, I got a few more errands to run before I pick Mom up, so uh, we'll see what other trouble we can get in today. Talk to you guys in a little right, bit. guys, so I just left uh, Roses, and I did indeed find some socks. They generally don't usually have the same uh, stock all the time, but luckily they had the same ones I picked up about a year ago. They're these uh, Carolina Bay. Uh, these ones are sock size 13 to 16, shoe size 12 to 15. Yes, I know I do have big feet. Uh, you can see that they are... <laughs> I shouldn't have said it like that, but eh, we'll leave it in there. Uh, you can see that they are, I'll let you read that yourself, they are 78% cotton and 17% uh, polyester, 4% nylon, and 1% spandex there. Help you guys out. And these are fantastic. These last me at least a year or more. I still have pairs that I bought of these probably close to two years ago, and they're just starting to develop holes now. Interestingly enough, they are actually made in Henderson, North Carolina, which is where we used to go to the car show every year. We don't do it too much anymore just because it, it, it's kind of gotten, um, it's kind of gone downhill, let's just say. They have a lot of the uh, ricers there, not a lot of the American classics. I don't have anything against the ricers, but because my dad and all of his friends generally have the classic cars, that's where we kind of gravitate to. So. We might go down there in a year or so just to see if it's changed again, but uh, I have my doubts. Oh, this was kind of an impulse purchase. I am a pickle nut, but I'm not a big fan of the bread and butter pickles. I usually like kosher dills. So I bought, ah, see if I can get it up there. This is Mount Olive kosher dill whole pickles. You guys can actually see there are whole pickles in there. This is 80 ounce, 2.5 quarts of it. So this is gonna last me a while, and these are supposed to be good for at least another year. It says till December of 2017. Yeah, that should last me a while. I can handle about maybe two or three of those a week, so figure yeah, that's probably a good month's worth of pickles there. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to head back and uh, pick up Mom. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because uh, she's going to need my help when she gets back into the car. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I sure enjoy making them. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.